Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. Uh, I'm still on a search for a life support module. I'm actually around Enigma again right now. And I thought I'd check out a derelict, and I, as I was pulling up close to it, I saw this on the wall. And this might be my first piece of decoration. I think I might want to go look around and see what kind of things you can find around these civilian derelicts. I am in a civilian zone. And what is this? It's a plant, ooh. That's a cool plant, planter, look at that. It's like a zero, zero G planter. We'll take that. Let's see what else we can find in here. Uh, did do a little bit of mining after the last episode. I headed out to a bunch of, oh, it's a good servo, I'll take that. I don't really need these stem packs. But I went and uh, got a whole bunch of refined raw containers. So I actually technically now have 16 containers. I didn't find any more drills. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. We'll get to that in a second here. And then I hit up an asteroid and I did a whole bunch of mining. So I've got tons of... Well, I don't have a lot of nitrogen anymore, but i got lots of nitrogen in the station. I have uh, so much hydrogen and deuterium. I'm good for a while, but... Let's check this out. Ooh, plasma ball. Tesla ball. Ooh, I will take that. And even though it sounds like a helmet. Really? I can't put this anywhere? Oh, yeah, I was going to get rid of the warp cells. That's right. Let's actually get rid of these. We'll just swing them out the door here. Uh, one of the things I had noticed, too, is I was getting rid of some... Uh, refined containers from the cargo bay, and when you're in a zero, when you're in a gravity environment like the cargo bay, and you throw something out the door into a zero g environment, it still has gravity, and it was dropping down downwards into space. But let's go ahead and get rid of some of these warp cells, and I'm throwing them so they're just not in the way. And I, know I don't have to throw them that hard because it's space. But that is cool. I got some toys for the for the station. A little bit of decoration. I've actually been wanting to find stuff like this because I know there's a lot of things that they've added. I have no idea what they've added. These are actually the first things I've seen other than the poster and the cup. So this is cool. I'm going to be able to deck out the station, or at least my crew quarter anyways. Uh, okay. Was there anything else in here? I don't think there was. Just a uh, couple of stim packs and a lot of stim packs, but I got so many of them. I have a shelf full of them on the ship. Anyways, I'm going to head back to Starbug here and then we'll go and uh, check out some more derelicts. All right, we're at the next derelict here. And I think I see a lava lamp. Let's go check this stuff out. I gotta look to see where all I can place stuff. I think I can place stuff on pretty much any shelf that I see. Um, like in the, in the warp drive room in the the, the bridge of the command, the command module. Uh, probably place them down areas downstairs in the shelves in the cargo bay. But maybe I'll be lucky and I'll find a basketball and a basketball net. You know, it gives me something to do when I got five minutes to kill and warp. You know, you can only charge so many batteries while you're down there. I was actually making taking advantage of the power supply at the station because you got the four chargers there. And it actually charges the batteries pretty quick, so I was using them. And, yeah, I was running back and forth between the power supply and the, the lifeboat because I was filling up my jet packs and I was charging the batteries. And I want to do a little bit of expanding because, you know, the... To be quite honest, rubber banding's been really good. I've had the uh, bounce it back and forth. Oh, we got something else. Ooh, what do we have? What is this? Ooh, another, another plant. Let's get some light on the situation. Oh. See, that's about all I get now. It's not like the huge rubber banding that you get, even with the station. What? What was that? Oh, I'm going to hit my head. 
Looks like a warp cell. Plant canister. Hmm. Alright, let's get back inside here. Because I did see a lava lamp. You can see the glow over there. Uh, a couple more stem packs. I don't think there's going to ever be anything in the drawers here. But that's another thing you're supposed to be able to find too. Is like little bits of storyline. And what is this? Oh my god, is that a coffee maker? Please tell me it's a coffee maker. Oh, I'm, I, I, I'm happy now. I'm all stranded in space and I have a coffee machine. And I have a cup too. That's perfect. And a lava lamp. Cool. Alright. Now we just need an Xbox and we're set. Oh. What was that? There was something on that shelf, wasn't there? Or was that just another stim pack? And one of the lockers here. I thought I saw something. Yeah, it was just that stim pack. Alrighty. Uh, I'll bring you back in the next stop. Alright, we're at the next one. It is a big one, so... I need to make some inventory space. Can't really see anything around the, the block side, so I'm gonna actually see if I can put some stuff down here on these shelves. Shelf, I should say. Something small. Uh, that should be able to go there. If I can. It's not gonna let me place it there. Okay. Uh, let's try the lava lamp. No, really. Can I not put stuff on here anymore? There used to be an F to interact on that. I guess we'll have to go check the cargo bay then. We'll head downstairs. I have it pressurized right now, so we don't have to wait for the airlock. I still gotta find some catalysts too. Uh, I was checking out the reactor at the station. It's almost out. It's like almost completely out of, well, two of the, Catalysts are almost completely done. Okay, so we can put that there. Put uh, that one down there. That is cool. And let's see what else we can put on here. The big lamp is not going to go here, I don't think. Is it going to go down here? There we go. That one's pretty cool, too. Now, what about... Oh. Coffee machine. I <laughs> totally forgot about the coffee machine. Coffee Express. Alright, that's uh, obviously a big item. Oh, okay, it goes there. Alright. Doing some furniture shopping today. Okay, that doesn't go there. Doesn't go there. Doesn't go there. Okay, that's pretty big. And, yeah. That was it. So, let's go see what we got in this one here. Let's see what other goodies we can find. You know, I've seen these things in, like, their conceptual art, but I've never actually seen them in person. Or even in any videos, but I don't really go... I haven't really watched any other videos of this one. But, let's go see what we can find at this derelict. You know, uh, maybe I can find one of these data pads that'll have, you know, some of the storyline. Because, from what I can tell, there's more to what happened here than what's led to believe. There's sort of something hidden. And I think the developers would hide a lot of stuff in the game and just not tell anybody about that. But, open sesame. Alright, let's go see what we got. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, of course it happens to be the last spot I actually look. And I thought it was closer than this, but uh, apparently not. So which door are we going to go in? Uh, let's go in this one then. Get that light going. Oh! Look at this. Alright, it's good to get cleared out my inventory.
Looks like there's an air filter on the floor too. Wow. Mm. Uh, the loot distribution's a little off right now, but I'm not complaining. I will take everything I can get. Can I not grab this one? Really? Cinna, 40 minutes. Ooh. And I think we're going to go try to make that one here. I can get that lava lamp, and I can't get this one for some reason. All right, well, we're going to make this quick, because I want to go check out that outpost. I do have a crowbar on the ship, and I want to see if it's actually possible to rip that door open. As they wouldn't have it open if you couldn't, if there wasn't anything in there. Unless they're just trying to troll you. We don't need a lava lamp. Uh, air filters, don't need them. Nothing in here. Uh, don't think there's going to be anything in the drawer, but I'll check anyways. I have Cinna was Aerodale, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm actually at Athna right now. So, no, Harath, sorry. Whoa! I just clipped through the drawers. <laughs> that was a little confusing. Uh, I don't see anything really on here that I don't have. I don't really need more than two lava lamps, I don't think. And I can't pick that one up. I actually forgot to check this. Uh, I think I can grab this one. I can. Was there actually supposed to be something in those things? Something I've never noticed before. Let's see if we can find one of them quickly. It's the one that's got the light on it. There we go. Maybe it's just something. But, could always use another coffee machine. <laughs> I may only have three warp cells, but I got two coffee machines. And that's all that matters. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, where is the ship? The ship is right there. So, I'm going to get back on board. I'm going to warp out to Cinna, and I will bring you back when we're at the outpost. All right, we are here. Now we're actually really close. I've been timing these warps out really good. If you can get it like basically just before one hits zero, uh, you'll probably hear like an overlapping warp sound, and it'll let you know that um, that you're gonna get like within like 150 meters. I've done this quite a few times, and it seems pretty good. Um, this actually reminds me here, if you see on this ext module extension here, uh, one of the things we're talking about in future updates is having like uh, heat management. So you're going to have to have like uh, radiators and heat vents and stuff like that to dissipate excess of heat from your station because there's no atmosphere in space to allow your ship to cool down. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I actually thought, almost forgot about this, so I was going to take one of these... Uh, these sword breakers with me, just in case. Uh, I do have a gun on me, maybe we'll take the pistol too. Uh, that does have some ammo. Alright, I don't know how much time I have, I think I got about 15 minutes. I've never been around one of these things when it's gone, so I have no idea what's on there, and I hope... Actually, there's one thing I forgot. Because it does have a command module, I gotta go and grab a crowbar. Unfortunately, there's no place to actually store this except in your inventory or on the floor. Alright, so now it's a race against time here. And it's actually pretty big, so that kind of worries me. Now, the thing that they say is it's an uh, unstable orbit. Now, I don't know if that means like it's going to be on an escape trajectory or if it's going to crash into something. You know, it doesn't really give you anything other than just the orbit detail in the nav map. So, yeah, we'll figure this one out. I unfortunately can't bring the 
the message up in chat anymore because I did do a relog just to make sure that everything goes smooth. Alright, and... Alright. Let's go check this thing out here. Look at the size of this thing. Wow. Okay, first, before I go anywhere... Uh, yeah, I should be good. I want to see if there's a turret on this command bridge before I go anywhere. Chances are not, because it's a doomed outpost. But I brought the crowbar for that door right there. But we are seem to be clear, so let's go inside and see what we can find. See, these are these radiators are talking about. I think they might be looking at adding solar power as well. Not 100% not sure. But let's see what we're going to find here. I still have yet to find anything rare. The uh, little decorations I found today are the rarest things I've found in this game so far. Uh, the, before that, it was the pistol. And nothing. I, I swear to God, I have the worst luck with these things. And I think maybe it's got something to do with that door. Maybe there's something I just don't know. And I mean the, the door up in the command module. Hmm. I'm not finding anything. I never do. No resource injectors, no servos. Okay, I always forget about that. There's always that turret stand there, but it is a doomed outpost, so it's no guarantee it's actually going to even have a turret there to begin with. Okay, I can't open any of these. I know I'm wasting my time here. Uh, this is something i got to pay attention to, is this shelf here. Uh, when I was looking for resource containers, I actually found two Proteus helmets. Uh, one was actually there, and I found another one somewhere else, but yeah, they, they were everywhere. I couldn't believe it. And then I f came across one derelict that actually had two of them on it. And I already had two, and then the derelict that was out before that had one on it. Alright, let's go see what we have in here. Okay. No, we don't have gravity, that's for sure. Let's just go straight upstairs. Oh, that's not the way I wanted to go. I want to go... Yes. Yes, this is the one. This is the one, and I forgot to bring a hacking tool. i got to try to keep one of those on me at all times. Because you never know when you're going to need it. And i got so many of them. Uh, I should actually be doing that when I'm going to try to scavenge a ship for warp cells because apparently you can override the turrets that way. Sadly you can't do it with the ships anymore. They don't contr transfer transfer authorization. And I was not expecting that. Well at least we have gravity. See this is what I mean. Like in here. Why would they have this door open and tease you if there's nothing in there? I have no idea. But again, I don't find a damn thing. I just have the worst luck with these things. Put that thing away. I don't know, this has been like the fifth one I've come across. And I haven't found a single thing in any of these. No parts, no... Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing in there. And I can even take some control of it, which I don't want it. Alright, well, let's go check out the rest of this thing, and then I guess we're going to continue on for a life support module. I can't complain, though. I found two coffee machines today. That's like a... A gold mine for me. 
Alright, so we went this way, so we want to go this way. And I gotta remember to keep checking these things too. Because you never know when there's gonna be something in there. And I'm gonna guess there's absolutely nothing in here either. Never is. I don't know, maybe I'm just having terrible luck with these things. I'm the only person online right now, so there's gotta be something. I can't waste any more time here. As this thing is doomed. Did I take all the roots? I think I did. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, hang on. One final check. Absolute waste of a warp cell. Well, at least we're around Cinna, or a military planet, so at least we can uh, find some warp cells. One final peek around. I have been everywhere. Uh, I went in the tube, so I don't know, think I've been in this side here yet. Oh, wait, yes, I have. Let's just look inside this one, just in case. But I'm pretty sure I've been everywhere. I've checked everything out. Uh, locker's still closed. Let's go check it out quickly here. Nothing. I should have known. Alright, I'm out of here. I shall... What shall I do here? Still want to look for a life support module, so maybe I'll continue my journey for that, and I'll bring you back when I find one. Alright, I am back home. I haven't had the best of luck trying to find a life support module locally. I did happen to find a bunch of warp cells, nothing, nothing spectacular. Uh, I'm probably going to end up at end of the episode here. I've been doing this one for... I don't know, a couple of hours running around. My jetpacks are actually completely empty right now, so I can't go in any, any EVAs. I don't have any small canisters downstairs, but we do have a bunch of stuff to decorate our station. Uh, next episode, uh, I'm actually going to record the next one right after this, but next one we're going to head into Athnar, I think. I think that's a second one in from the sun, from Hellion. Not necessarily the sun, because the sun is actually called Hellion. But, uh, yeah, we have uh, Ogorat around there. Ogorath, sorry, and that's another civilian area we might be able to find. Find some more trinkets and maybe a life support module. So, uh, let me go ahead and let's get off these engines. They're good, but you forget that you have them on, and I'm so, I actually, like I said before, I use the RCS control to control the engines. So that way you don't st get stuck at 40% throttle the whole time. So I'm going to go ahead and dock, and I'll bring you back when we're inside. Alright, I'm docked. I had a little bit of rubber banding when I went to go dock. It pulled me in and sent the station flying about 30, 30 meters away. It's no big deal. Uh, that does worry me though when uh, they start introducing uh, damage. And, like, what's gonna happen is uh, because a game glitches out, are, are you gonna end up damaging your station? Who knows? But I think I guess I don't have enough room for this. Actually, I can open that button with uh, yeah, because I don't need to use the airlock to open it. I should be able to climb the ladder with this in my hand. I have no idea where it's going to go. As far as I can tell, it hangs on a wall somewhere. Uh, I need a jetpack. That's actually what I do too. Is I gotta fill up all my jetpacks before we head off anywhere. But let's see what we can do with these things. We ow. Okay. 
Now, where can we hang this? Hmm. You know what? I'm wondering. Just a little bit. I think we can hang it here. Come on, where's that F? Nope. All right, well. And maybe in the quarters. See, I had a, a system for everything here now. C is for cargo bay. D is for dock, for a dock to ship. B, I guess, boat. And then A would be the power supply. I don't know why. What A would stand for, probably ACDC. I have no idea. Anyways, uh, let's go see if we can find a place to hang this thing. I don't know if there is anywhere we can. If there is, it'd be in here, and maybe that's actually what goes here? Nope. Hmm. Don't know where else I can put it. Doesn't go there. It's not going to go here. Because the poster goes there. Hmm. Doesn't go there. I don't know what we do with this thing. Uh, it's not going to fit in there. Doesn't go on the bed. There we go. Goes on the wall. Alright, so, coffee maker. Well, of course we're going to have one in here. I thought we could. Apparently not. Hmm. Okay, well, the coffee maker doesn't go in here, but a lava lamp will. I'm pretty sure of that. Let's see, a lava lamp. I'll put that there. We got ourselves a little night light. Oh. And then, uh, I'm pretty sure I can put something here. That a coffee maker is going to go there for sure. Yes. Let's actually go grab that cup, put the cup next to it. Now what would be cool is if you could actually interact with the coffee maker with the cup and actually get yourself a cup of coffee. You know, a little Easter egg, why not? Let's see if this actually does anything. No. Anyways, I'll we'll put the cup there. We will put our coffee maker here. And uh, nowhere else we can put stuff. Can't put anything up on the shelf. And can't put the Tesla there, so let's go see what we can put in over. Actually, let's go. I think we put the Tesla right on top of here. Uh, as far as these big plants, I have no idea where they're gonna go. Okay, that can go there. And we'll add a lava lamp. Nope, doesn't go there. Uh, maybe these big guys go up there. Oh, they do. Nice. And I can't do anything with those. I don't think we can actually hang these things. That's not a... That's not a plant. Hmm. It's not like we can put anything else anywhere else. Still don't know what this is. Pretty sure it's something we gotta put there. Uh, hmm. Can't put anything in here. Oh, that'll work. What else we got? We got another coffee maker. And that's it. So, what do we do with the second coffee maker? I know where. Where we're going to get the most. The bridge. So, let's head up to the bridge. And go we'll place that down. I don't think you can place anything down in this area here. Not that it matters. I was looking around the ship, too. I thought... Uh, you used to be able to interact with those shelves down in the warp drive room, but they're not there anymore. Now, what was I looking for? I was looking for... Ah, this is what I'm looking for right here. Let's go upstairs. See if we can place that coffee maker up here. It's a shame it's only decoration, though. Because see, here we have shelves, too. So, maybe... He Oh, it does go there. What do you know? 
Coffee Express. It's like Planet Express. Alright. Well, I think that's about all we can really do here. Yeah, we got our, our little decorations all set up. Got a little bit of color in the crew quarters. It's a shame that you can't, they don't have that stuff for all the modules. Well, I mean, uh, you know, attachment nodes. That's back to the ship. What was I looking for? Uh, oh, yes. Back to the lifeboat. Ah, and that's where my crew quarters is, too. So I could have, say, B is for bed. But that's going to cha all change soon, eventually, because I do want to attempt to expand the station. You know, surprisingly, it's holding up pretty good as far as uh, reliability goes, I guess you could say. I know it, this game hasn't been the best lately, but... Yeah, it's getting better. It's getting better. But anyways, I think I'm going to call the episode here. Uh, like I said, next episode we're going to head off to Athnar, go find this, finally find this life support module. Maybe we'll find something around one of those derelicts around Athnar because it is a military zone and it's fairly far away. So maybe we'll actually get like a higher tier weapon. I got like four, three or four clips for the Helix now. So that's one. I got weapon, ammo for another gun. I can't remember what that is, but... We'll figure it out. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.